What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Nintendo 3DS emulator on PC called Lemonade. So let's head over to this GitHub page. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you are here, go ahead and click on installer.exe. Now I have the file downloaded on my desktop. Here's the installer file. Let's open it. Now your PC may think this file is dangerous, but you have nothing to worry about. Go ahead and click on more info and run anyway. Lemonade is still on the early alpha stage. To update the emulator, run the installer again. Next. Now right here where it says latest release, we're gonna change this to nightly. And the reason we are doing this is because using the latest release, I noticed will not let you change the graphic settings. The nightly will. And this is up to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a desktop shortcut and a start menu shortcut. Install. Complete, finish. Now here's our actual emulator file on our desktop. Let's open it. Would you like to share your usage data with us? I'm gonna select no. So when you first open the folder, you will see this bold folder with a plus sign in it that says double click to add a new folder to the game list. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our games into the emulator. Now I cannot tell you where to get 3DS ROMs, but I can show you the file type you need to run in Lemonade. So for an example, I have a copy here of Epic Mickey. It was downloaded as a compressed zip file and needs to be extracted. I use 7-zip to extract my files. If you guys don't have 7-zip on your PC, I will leave a link to this page in the description below. Once you have 7-zip, all you need to do is right click on the game file, go to show more options, and you will see 7-zip and then hit extract here. And you will get this new file right here, which is a 3DS file. This is the file type that you need your games in to run in Lemonade. Okay, back over on the emulator. Now let's go ahead and click on this big folder. And we're gonna go ahead and locate where we have our 3DS ROMs. In my case, I have them on an external hard drive in a folder called Nintendo 3DS. Select that folder and then come down here and hit select folder. And there we are, all of my 3DS ROMs have been uploaded into the emulator. Now let's go up to the top and click on emulation and go down to configure. Now look over to the left and we're gonna go down to graphics. Starting off with the internal resolution. Now we can bump this all the way up to 10 times, but I am not gonna take advantage of that because I don't have a 4K monitor. So I'm gonna do six times at 1440p because my monitor is 1440p. For the texture filter, I'm gonna leave it on none, but you have some options you can play around with and see what you like. This will slightly change the textures and lines in your games. Let's come down here under layout and let's select screen layout. So we have the option to use a single screen, large screen, side by side, separate windows and hybrid screen. So right now I'm gonna leave it on default, but once we open a game, I will show you what each one of these look like. Back up to the top, Let's go over to advanced. For the graphics API, I'm gonna change this from OpenGL to Vulkan. I get much better performance with this emulator using Vulkan, but if you have a older CPU or GPU, then you may want to try OpenGL because you may get better performance with that. And for the physical device, if your PC has an actual graphics card, then make sure your graphics card is checked. Everything else here, we're gonna leave at default settings. Now let's go back over here to the left and click on controls. Now the controller I am gonna be using is a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. You can also use an Xbox Series or Xbox One controller or PS5 controller. Now there's two ways I can do this. I can come down here to auto map, then I'm gonna press okay, and I'm just gonna press any random button on my Switch Pro controller and the entire controller will be mapped out just like that. Now the reason I am using a Switch Pro controller is that my X, Y, A, and B buttons will be in the same location as on a 3DS. Now say we did want to change some of the buttons around, 
all you would do is click on the button you want to change so let's say we want to change the a button we would click right here and we would press whatever button on our controller we want to become the a button now you could do the same thing for your directional pad your circle pad and your c stick and if you're confused about the circle pad and the c stick well the circle pad you will want to use as your left analog stick in the C stick, you will want to use as your right analog stick. And if you want to save your controller layout, go up to new and go ahead and give this controller layout a name. I'm just going to call it P1. OK. And if you want to see your hotkey layout back up here at the top next to input, you will see hotkeys. Now you can browse through these options and you can also change the key layout if you would like. For example, say we wanted to change the key for swap screens, we would come down here, click on it, and you would press whatever key you want to be the new swap screen key. Now let's go back up to the top and click on general. And let's go over here to UI. And right here where it says theme, right now we are on the light theme. You do not have to do this, but I prefer to change this to dark. And this will basically give me a black interface instead of the white interface. Now let's come down here to OK. Now please make sure you hit OK so everything we just set up will save. If you just exit out of your settings, nothing will save. OK. Now I am guessing that the online multiplayer is not active on this emulator yet because if we look in the bottom right, it says not connected. And if we click to find a room, there are none. Now you can try to create your own room by coming up here to multiplayer, create room, and you can go ahead and create a room and see if you can get a friend to find your room. But like I said, I think multiplayer is not active yet. Now let's go ahead and load up a game and I'll do Sonic Generations. Now to show you guys how to change your screen layout, you want to go up to view, screen layout. Right now we are on default. If we change this to single screen, this is what it looks like. Go back up to view, screen layout, large screen, hybrid screen, side by side, in separate windows. The one I prefer to use is large screen because most of you will use this emulator to play Pokemon games and your main screen will be the large screen and the second screen over to the right will only be your command screen. Now to go full screen, we go back up to view, full screen or hit the F11 key. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Peace.